I used to write um, like one one poem every time something happened in that year, and then I ended up in May of 2002. Uh, and and of course with uh, Israel and Palestine, it's just uh, one uh, circle. You know, it just goes on and on and on, and you think it's resolved, but the next time it comes, and it's the same old story. So I thought, well, it's interesting. The same thing is going happening now as kind of, in a way, happened uh, right after 911. So I thought I'd read this one today. It's called I Iron Prize. At that time, it was Good Friday, 2002, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Will the lovers of equality please rise up? Please rise up and lend us all your voices. We come to affirm Israel, not to bury it. We come to love Palestine and its right to exist. Pied pipers we are coming with justice in our hands. We are the artists, the lovers of all lands. We are the peacemakers. To Israel, keep your eye on the prize. The promised land is what the world will know as that which is your own, because it has been given. O oh, Israel, take what has been given, and let those people go. O oh, Palestine, O oh, Palestine, pay heed to your brother. Pay heed to the new millennium. Pay heed to the other. Let each life be its own epiphany. Undo the learning of the ages. Let the women in. Land for money is no sin if the womb can give you children that have no enemies. Keep your eye on the prize. To each the promised land. One language in the world today, the language of liberty and the right to live life unimpeded. Let not our children say, our civilization had no great negotiators when Crown Prince Abdullah knelt to pray and offered us the gift of the ages, recognition of our diverse ways to fulfill the destiny of our existence, overall peaceful, beyond battle. Thank you.